DJI Neo 2, first use. DJI Fly app is required to use the aircraft. Scan the QR code on the package to download and install the latest version of DJI Fly. Press down to remove the gimbal protector. Press the power button to activate the aircraft battery and check the battery level. The aircraft comes with an internal storage. When the aircraft is powered off, the USB-C port on the aircraft can be used for charging. Press the power button once. And then again and hold for about 2 seconds to turn the aircraft on. Remove the control sticks from the storage slots. And mount them on the remote controller. Pull out the mobile device holder to find the remote controller cable. Check that the connector with an RC icon has been properly inserted. Remove the other connector. Unwind it to the right. And place it behind the non-slip pads of the clamp. Place your smartphone in the holder with the charging port on the right side. And then secure it in the clamp. Connect the remote controller cable. Press the power button once. And then again and hold for about 2 seconds to turn the remote controller on. Run the DJI Fly app on the smartphone. Log in with DJI account. 4 new users. Please register before logging in. And activate the aircraft following the on-screen instructions. An internet connection is required for activation. If you have purchased or intend to purchase DJI Care Refresh, please finish the purchasing and binding within 48 hours of activating the aircraft. If not needed, you can skip it. A prompt will appear on the screen if a firmware update is available. Tap the prompt to enter the update screen. Tap update to update all devices to the latest firmware version. To ensure your safety and an optimal experience, it is recommended to update your device to the latest firmware version immediately. During the update, do not power off the aircraft or exit the DJI Fly app. After the update, the aircraft will automatically power off. Make sure the flight environment is open and unobstructed with sufficient light and the surfaces have discernible patterns. Make sure intelligent flight battery, digital transceiver, propellers, and propeller guards are mounted securely. Place the aircraft on level ground with the rear facing you. Make sure the flight mode switch is on normal mode. Launch DJI Fly app. Open system settings and tap safety. Set the obstacle avoidance action to bypass or break. And set the RTH height higher than the tallest building or nearby object. Make sure that the Gene SS status icon remains white before takeoff. And home point updated is prompted in DJI Fly. Tap the takeoff icon on the left. And press and hold the prompt icon to enable auto takeoff. The aircraft will automatically take off and hover at a certain altitude. Tap the landing icon. And press and hold the prompt to make the aircraft land automatically and stop the motors. Push the left and right sticks of the remote controller inward or outward simultaneously to start the motors. And gently push the left control stick up to manually take off. After takeoff, pull down the left stick to land. Push the left stick up or down to make the aircraft ascend or descend. Push the left stick left or right to change the orientation of the aircraft. Push the right stick up and down to make the aircraft fly forward or backward. Push the right stick left or right to make the aircraft horizontally move left or right. During the flight, you should adjust the position and distance between the remote controller and the aircraft to ensure it remains within the optimal signal range. Press the photo video button once to switch between photo and video modes. Tap the camera icon at the bottom right of the app to switch between manual and auto modes. Tap the parameter menu to further adjust camera shooting parameters. 
press the shutter record button on the remote controller to take photos or record videos. Scroll the gimbal dial on the remote controller to adjust the gimbal tilt. Tap the playback icon in the app to view and download your footage. Press and hold the RTH button on the remote controller. Or tap the RTH icon in the app and hold down the confirmation pop-up. The return aircraft will return to home automatically. Flying back to the most recently recorded home point and landing. Press and then press and hold the power button for 2 seconds to power off the aircraft and remote controller. Check and clear any foreign objects from the aircraft body and sensors to prevent blockage. Attach the gimbal protector. When storing the aircraft, avoid applying prolonged pressure to the antennas on the digital transceiver to prevent deformation. Fold the antennas. Unscrew the control sticks. And store them in the storage slots on the remote controller.